Get ready to revive the outdoors with Cody and Cody. That's how it's supposed to be done. On the water, in the woods. Pursuits made possible by Trigicon. Brilliant aiming solutions. Brunton, equipment for outdoor adventures. Lacrosse, established in 1897, built the last. Ginsu Outdoors, not just sharp, wicked sharp. Gerber, fend for yourself. Get ready to revive the outdoors. Get up, get up, get up. Go ahead and hit him again. Go ahead and hit him again. There you go. Bear down, man. Yeah, I'll tell you, there's nothing cooler than coming up millions of acres here in Alaska and, and walking up to a bear that you've shot and you know that you've hunted for. This is no bait. It's out here picking a spot, glassing these hills, making a move on a bear. Now, the fact that things fell together for us the way they did was, you couldn't ask for it any better. I mean, it was it was absolutely phenomenal. You're out here in the wilderness, and, and it is, it's a man's hunt. So, now, man, I'm pumped about it, and to have a bear to go home with just makes it all the much better. So, Willie, thank you, sir. Y'all remember the name Willie when you come up here to Stony River. He is, he's the A1 guide. Well, let's get this bear took care of. We'll get on another one here for long. Another thing we want to point out, uh, seeing that it may be a few days before they come back with a plane from camp, and we're going to have to take care of this hide, take care of the meat, so on and so forth. That's something that is, uh, you know, very nice to have in a in a professional guide out here in Alaska is the fact that they know how to maintain this hide for hunters that come up here and obviously want to make a rug out of a uh, out of a you know beautiful black bear like this or have a some type of mountain made as well. Um, you know, we're liable to be out here for a couple of days uh, before we can get it back to, you know, a freezer or anywhere to keep it that we would normally want to. So we we'll have to flesh it. We're gonna have to. He he he, he was talking earlier about possibly having to flesh it out out here, and uh, he's capable of doing that. And uh, and so that's important. It's it's, uh, it's definitely an amenity to have. You know, a guide not only puts you on animals, but has the knowledge to take care of it after the fact as well. So I'm excited about that. I know I'm gonna walk away with what I want as far as having a pretty rug. So up day number three, we're heading out of camp. You saw Cody's got his bear down. My turn, really? Let's check the runway, I guess. And then we're gonna head to the top of the mountain, take them out. Let's do it. We got another bear out here. Yep, I see him. That blueberry patch out here that we yeah, he's working like pretty good too. So, yeah, he is. We'll go ahead and get up here on this side hill and get a little better vantage point angle on him and uh, set up the spot and scope. See what we got. He's in a really good spot. He may have made a mistake. So his disadvantage, go. our advantage. Let's go take a look at him. All right, let's do it. It's a good bear. If Willie says it's a good bear, it's a good bear. Now, how far do you think that bear is from us? Oh, it's probably 
mile and a half. Mile and a half. The terrain is not too bad between here and there, so that'd be fairly easy walking. Yeah, you can uh, see from that pullout exactly how far that bear is. Oh, there's a cub. Is there? I thought I yep. saw something go black with it. Above yep. it? Right above the hill? Yep. Young one. Well, that takes that bear out of the equation. Yeah, it's a good, she's a good bear, but that's what kept throwing me off is how close her ears really are. Right. Um, you know, you, um, you can hunt a bear, uh, and it could be a sow, it could be a boar, but uh, you can't hunt a, a, a sow that has uh, cubs, knowingly that it has cubs. And, uh, and so uh, that just, that takes that bear out of the equation. Yep, yep, well there's gotta be sows and cubs for there to be more bears around, so that's just kinda part of the hunt. Yep. Hunting apparel, serious huntwear for real women. From Ginsu Outdoors, wickedly sharp Damascus stainless steel hunting knives with 33 layers of Japanese stainless steel, superior VG1 core, cryogenically cooled for ultimate edge retention. Ginsu is known for their blade expertise and now they're bringing it to the outdoors. And hey, if y'all hunt as much as Cody and I do, you know how important a great knife is and nothing is sharper than a Ginsu Outdoors Damascus steel blade. Hey, it's not only sharp, it's wicked sharp. See the full line at GinsuOutdoors.com. Now this one's a given. Our guns definitely get shot. When it comes to cleaning our guns, we use and trust C2 Gun Oil. It's available through our website. So y'all check us out. And finally, when we get back to the house, we use and trust Century Safe for every aspect of war protection. Century Safe is the world leader in fire resistant and security storage. So on y'all's next hunt, remember to shoot it, clean it, and protect it. Well, Willie, really, we've uh, we've walked a little way away from camp, and we're going to a higher elevation. What we're looking for is uh, a vantage point to be able to see these bear. Yeah. Now, what? You know, yep. the, the reason why we're hunting these bear? What's the bear doing now to give us the opportunity to hunt it? Uh, the bears are getting ready for hibernation. Um, they're looking to forage, you know, and find as much food um, as they can right now. They're, that's what gives us a chance of seeing them. Is they're they're working they're working the landscape. If it be a berry patch or or some uh, uh, shrubs or roots or or even ground squirrels. I mean, they're uh, they're uh, herbivores and uh, carnivores. Opportunists is what I like to call them. And uh, we're going to get up uh, this vantage point so we can see them moving around. Good morning and welcome back to what we call Berry Hill. We've just hiked about a mile, a quarter mile and a half back up to our spot where we glass. We've got a beautiful area that we're overlooking. There's a, a lot of blueberries on this hill. Yesterday we had a great hunt. Uh, didn't harvest anything yesterday, but we did see a real nice sow, but she had two cubs. And uh, so uh, obviously, uh, we let those go. We saw a younger bear uh, right up in this area, and hopefully uh, we'll see a bigger bear today. We saw three moose yesterday, a mama and two uh, of her younger ones. So right now we're just glassing again, and uh, hopefully we'll see a bear either transitioning or coming in to eat these blueberries and uh, make a stalk. Well, he looks big to me, but just like you said, they always look that day. Uh, big black spot 
we just came off the hill and uh, you know all of us decided that we'd do that come to the south we got a wind hard strong wind coming out of the south and uh, as we're coming off the hill we looks across and it, there he is of course he's ways out there and uh, I don't know it'd take us a good what hour and a half to get over there you think Probably more than that with the uphill and downhill. And there's no guarantee he's going to be there when we get there. Well, folks, that ends another day. We've had uh, another good hunt today. We had a bear off of the uh, hill, decided not to, to move on that one. And we've got another bear that you've seen out here. Looks to be about a mile and a half, but it'd be a steep climb down and then a pretty steep climb back up. It's later in the evening, so we're, we're gonna hold off and get some dinner, get a good night's rest, and take a look at this tomorrow. If that bear's still there, I think we may decide to move on it and uh, hopefully bring you a really good hunt. Looks like uh, day five is uh, coming up on us, and uh, hey, we'll see what tomorrow brings. When the rain comes down, this is uh, this is part of the hunt that you, from a filming standpoint, it makes it a lot tougher trying to keep things dry. But uh, right over there, across the valley, into those hills, where we had a bear yesterday, and we're kind of hoping that bear will appear again, maybe a little closer. But uh, I think if we see that bear today over there, we're going to go after it. It'd be a long hike, but we know what we can do, huh? Well, yeah, we got all day to do it this time. Yesterday it was, we had about five hours till dark when we spotted the bear. And it's going to take a solid two, two and a half, maybe even three with all the camera equipment to get over. So We're trying to get that, uh, that second black bear here in uh, the interior part of Alaska. It's a great trichicon hunt, hunting out of Stony River Lodge. And... Uh, you know, when you come to a place like this, you always kind of wonder what kind of guide you're going to get paired up with. But um, Willie, our guide, he's a young guide, uh, but he's been guiding for about 10 years. Man, he looks younger than he is. Yeah, he does. He, he's, I think he's about 31, but uh, he, uh, he knows his stuff and uh, made a good call yesterday on not pursuing that bear. So we'll just kind of wait it out. We're going to shut the camera down for now, dry everything out a little bit and hopefully this rain will pass over and next time you see us, we'll be on a bear. From Ginsu Outdoors, wickedly sharp Damascus stainless steel hunting knives with 33 layers of Japanese stainless steel, superior VG1 core, cryogenically cooled for ultimate edge retention. Ginsu is known for their blade expertise and now they're bringing it to the outdoors. And hey, if y'all hunt as much as Cody and I do, you know how important a great knife is and nothing is sharper than a Ginsu Outdoors Damascus steel blade. Hey, it's not only sharp, it's wicked sharp. See the full line at GinsuOutdoors.com. Ooh. 
day number six. I got a black bear coming out of the bottom. I'm gonna move on this bear right here. Shoot long gated. Yep. Okay, he's coming out to my side. Well, yeah, we can let him get a lot of Okay, can you come in with that stair with the device? Yep. Yep, yep. I mean, is your brush in the scope? No, no, no brush to the right. Okay, could you film if you can move about? Go ahead and take him. Yep. All right. All right. Just stay on him. We need him to go about. Uh oh. He's looking around. I need him to go about five more feet to the right. Right. Wait. Wait. Let him pick that right front leg and put forward. Okay, hold on. 
How's that? Uh, I've got that. I've got a bush right. Hey, for those of you who have followed Cody and I's show, you know that all our hunts are 100% fair chase, so anything that give us the upper edge in the woods, we're all about it. That's right, Cody. And getting to the stand is half about it, but we know we can go through some of the toughest terrain, silent and scent free with the all new, all electric Stealth 4x4. Check them out at the number at the bottom of the screen or go to their website today. Up there, by the edge. I'm at him. Wait till he turns. solutions. Now with four self-luminous reticles to choose from, you'll be sure to get your trophy. Trigicon. The closed captioning portion of our show is brought to you by Bitter Creek Hunting, providing the ultimate hunting experience through a full line of custom and all aluminum dog boxes. To view a full line of all aluminum hunting products by Bitter Creek, check them out at the website at bittercreekhunting.com or give them a call at the number at the bottom of the screen. Wait. Wait. Let him take that right front leg and put forward. Okay, hold on. How's that? Uh, I've got that. I've got a bush right in front of me. Okay. Yep. This side of his leg, you want him to Stick extended. Okay. All right. I got. I'm. I'm clear right in there. Is that quartering? Not yet. He's coming back. Just kind of back this way. What's that like? That looks good there. Wait, what, 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 nope. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Don't be turned. Okay, reload, reload, reload. I mean, we jumped out of bed, literally. It's been raining and raining and raining. And just like before, Willie's like, guys, we got a bear out here, we got a bear out here. Now this one was a little further out, about uh, five, 600 yards, and we made a move on it and got within about 370 yards. And, uh, and then we closed it to about 180, 190. Well, Willie? That was a good breakfast you cooked there. Got a chance for me to take a look at some of the footage and I look kind of ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I look like the Scrooge off the Christmas story with my beanie cap just getting out of bed. But that's exactly the way it happened though. Well, Cody gave you a chance. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me an opportunity, but hey, we've made our way around and uh, that bear is down in this thicket somewhere. And uh, how long has it been? A good hour and a half. Uh, yeah. Since uh, since we took our shots, so let's trek on down and see if we can get him. That's where she expired, right there. Right here, mate. All right. Once again, another bear down. We got two great hunts up here in Alaska. Uh, we've seen moose. Uh, we've just had a great time. Beautiful scenery. 
Even had the uh, United States Air Force put on some air shows for us with a C-130 and the F-22. Flares in the air and everything. So, uh, I don't know that you could ask much more than that. Of course, uh, probably wasn't expensive as the uh, Air Force One flyby in New York, but uh, uh, it still was pretty impressive to see that in, in the skies over Alaska. So, I guess, uh, really, time to trek on down there and take a look at her. Right down here, we'll do the old eye thing, but yeah, that hour and a half uh, breakfast and waiting, that's just what you gotta do. I mean, you should do it with all animals, but especially one that can, uh, can attack you is a way to do it. Nice uh, Alaskan uh, black bear. Not every day I get hunters uh, like yourselves and uh, it was a pleasure for myself too. What do you think, Cody? I'm stoked, man. Got us another another bear on the ground. It's always cool when you get to hunt with me. Yep, yep, and I uh, definitely want to thank uh, Trigicon for First of all, for a great product. Not only do they provide for us in the hunting, but uh, the product they provide for our service men and women, the ACOG, as well as for our uh, law enforcement and uh, special forces. Uh, the Trigicon scope being 100% American made and uh, uh, being a product that you can rely on and uh, just really enjoy getting out and using. So uh, we definitely appreciate Stony River Lodge for, uh, for having us up and uh, it's been a great time. And, look forward to, uh, I always look forward to getting back and putting together the video. Sure. You know, that's the, the excitement for me and the challenge and stuff, but uh, you know, being out here for seven days, I mean, you know, we had challenges like weather, we had challenges like food, we had challenges, uh, uh, you know, you put out the uh, rain catchers, uh, and we never knew if we'd have to use that. I mean, you know, you might as well catch the rain while it's coming down, because when it's sunshiny, you're, you're out of luck. If you don't have water close, it's uh... It, That's a good idea. You could, you could use a lot of your energy as you're going to get the one. Yep, it takes time and, and energy and everything else. So, uh, but uh, uh, also for, uh, for, for filming and all, we had, to, uh, we had to harness some energy, and so we used the uh, solar power to do that, and uh, uh, that was pretty cool just to be able to, to do that, but it obviously made it to where we could film the whole seven days and not have to uh, kind of ration the, the battery power, so. Definitely want to thank Brunton for those. Thank you guys for sending that stuff to us. The solar panels work great. Yep, they did. So, we want to thank you for joining us on another adventure of Revive the Outdoors. We would like to thank you, the sportsmen, for joining us on Revive the Outdoors with Cody and Cody. We would like for you to share your outdoor adventures. Visit us at CodyandCody.tv. Join us again next week right here on Revive the Outdoors with yeah, Cody and Cody. That's definitely a good fish, but it's kind of a, a teaser.